This is Shekhar Srinivasan, a Microsoft Certified Trainer and the Plural Site Author. If you are new for .NET and a Plural Site Subscriber and wanted to learn ADO.NET in detail with examples, then please watch my course ADO.NET by Examples at Plural Site for better understanding of ADO.NET. Two features that were originally planned with C-Sharp 6, now it is available with C-Sharp 7, binary literals and digit separators. These are small features but make the code easier to read. Since C-Sharp 7 has introduced some extensions to the literals, it is a good time for understanding about C-Sharp literals. A literal is a notation to represent fixed values in source code and just to help the readability of the programs. And the digit separator underscore is available with C Sharp 7. In this video, we shall understand how to work with binary literals and digit separators. Now let us start with the demo. I already have taken the privilege and created C Sharp console application with the name C Sharp 7 demos using Visual Studio .NET 2017 Community Edition. We can observe our solution is empty. Now let me add a class file. To do, let me press Ctrl plus Alt plus A and let me select the class template and provide a meaningful name for the demo, binary literals and digit separators and let me click on add button now let me add an entry point so let me type in svm and press the tab two times to generate the main method if i wanted to define an array of integer literals then we can just type in as int square brackets numbers equal to let me open the curly braces and we can type in some numbers and let me close the braces now from c sharp 7 onwards we have been introduced with binary literals for example if i wanted to define an array of integer literals using the binary literals then we need to type in as int square brackets binary literals equal to let me open the curly braces and in order to specify the value is a binary literal, we need to use 0b and followed by the number. So we can type in the following values and let me close the braces. Now let us display the values of the integer array defined using binary literals. So let me type in for each var b and o in binary literals and within the block let us write the code to display the value so let me type in cw for console dot right line and let me pass the bno as the argument now let us execute our application we can observe the values of the binary literals assigned to the integer array now if you have observed the binary literals if the value is going to be large, then it will be quite difficult for us to read the values. So from C sharp 7, we have been introduced with a new feature called as digit separator that is an underscore to separate the value for better readability. And remember that the digit separators are not limited only to the binaries. It can be used with any number types also. For example, let me type in double income equal to 100000. Now to read this value, it may be quite difficult. So what we can do is just introduce this value with the support of underscore. So let me now update the value as 1 underscore 0 0 underscore 0 0 underscore 0 0 0 and one more important point we need to remember is the digit separator can be used 
anywhere within the number and it can be used any number of times. For example, let me type in double family income equal to 12 underscore 345 underscore 780. And as I said, I can use any number of underscore. Let me update the value as 12 underscore underscore underscore. We can observe there is no error. But one important point we need to remember is that the digit separator can be the last character of a number. For example, let me type in underscore as the last character. Now we can observe an error. Now let us display the values. So let me type in console.writeline income slash and family income. Let me execute the application we can observe that the grouping the data using the digit separator doesn't matter for the compiler and we get exactly the same value. These two features of C Sharp 7 are basic features which are introduced to help in readability of the code. Hope you will enjoy my videos as much as I enjoy in producing. If you like this video, Please give a like, share or comment and do subscribe my channel. This encourages me to produce more videos. Thank you all. Happy programming.